Hi everyone and welcome to City Kids Online. This is your first time joining us. We are so glad you're here. Oh yeah. Joel, what? what are you doing? Everybody's watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get my money back. Get your money back? What are you, what are you talking about? Well, I thought I was getting all the episodes of Hank the Cowdog, you know, the audio books, yeah. where the author does all those funny voices yeah, he for is funny. Hank and Drover, Slim, the Coyotes. Yeah, I love those. They're great. The author is John R. Erickson, right? Yeah, well, but I got ripped off, so I'm trying to get my money back. What happened? Well, this guy on eBay, he was selling all of the Hank Cow the Cowdog episodes mm -hmm. in MP3. I paid him good money, downloaded the stories, but I went to listen to them, and they were totally fake. Why would somebody do that? I mean, someone else was the narrator for the audiobooks I bought, not even close to the real thing. Well, did they advertise that it was a different person reading the stories? No, they just bold-faced lied, saying it was the original author reading the stories. Totally sounded nothing like the real author. Was it all bad? Well, no, it wasn't all bad, but it wasn't the original. And when you expect the original, you're going to get disappointed. Yeah. So I was lied to. I want my money back. Uh, we should probably deal with that later, though. We need to get going. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, kids. You know, the fact that you were lied to and ripped off works as a good lead-in for our Bible story today. Really? Yeah, it does. Remember how the church started when Jesus sent the Holy Spirit? Yes. Well, this group of new Christians, they were acting differently than they had before. The Holy Spirit changed their hearts. They loved each other, shared everything. They took care of each other's needs. Well, I don't see that how that fits, you know, with me being ripped off. Well, there were a couple of fakers in the group who lied. You mean the early Christians were trying to download Hank the Cowdog too? No. And they got stuck with the fake audiobook recordings like I did? No. They didn't have audiobooks, computers, or even Hank the Cowdog back then. Right. Well, if they had, Hank would have been something like Hank Aya the Ox Herder. Again, no. What I mean is that two people tried to lie about what they were giving to the apostles and the early church. They were fakers. Ah, so they must have gotten caught lying. They did. But let's not give it all away yet. We'll hear about that in a second. But we do have a new big picture question and answer. Oh, cool. So what is it? Well, our new big picture question is, what is the church? Well, I know this one. You do? Yeah, look, here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the doors and where's the people? Must be COVID. Stop. Got them from coming. No, that's not the church. That's just you playing with your hands. Okay, well, what's the answer? All right, the answer is the church is all Christians everywhere who gather together in communities to worship and serve God. Whoa, you said all Christians. Does that mean all the different churches around here are part of the same church? It does, but it's more than that. If people believe in Jesus and live for him, then no matter where they are or what specific church they go to, they are a part of God's church. Cool. So what is the church? The church is all Christians everywhere who gather together in communities to worship and serve God. Now we should get to our story. Well, good. I want to see about these fakers that got caught lying. Here we go. Check this out. The early church was growing. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the apostles were telling people that Jesus had been raised from the dead. A large group of believers met together in Jerusalem. They shared everything they had. If someone had more than he needed, he gladly gave it away so everyone had what he needed. One man, Barnabas, sold a field and gave the money to the apostles. The apostles used the money to help people in need. Everyone who had land or houses did the same. Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, sold some land and pretended to give all of the money to the apostles, but they kept some of it for themselves. 
When Ananias brought the money to the apostles, Peter asked him, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? You could have been honest about what you did with the money, but instead you lied, not to us, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down, died, and was buried. Everyone who heard about this was filled with fear. About three hours later, Sapphira came to the apostles. She did not know what had happened to her husband. Peter asked her, is this all the money you got for the land? Yes, she said, that's all of it. Peter said, why did you and your husband agree to test the Lord? Then Sapphira fell dead too. Great fear came on everyone in the church and all who heard about these things. Ananias and Sapphira wanted to look generous, but they were greedy. The Holy Spirit changes our hearts to want to share with those in need because Jesus generously gave all he had so we can share in his riches and have forgiveness and eternal life. Goodness gracious, can you believe that? Ananias and Sapphira, they lied and they died. That's what happened. The early group of believers were really afraid. You know, it's kind of scary. Sinning is no joke and mm -hmm. God wants us to be honest. It made me wonder if I should be scared. Why? Have you been lying? No, I haven't been lying, but everyone sins. Yeah. So I thought I could just ask Jesus for forgiveness and he would forgive us. Well, you're right. We can and need to ask Jesus for forgiveness. But I also know that God does not want us to live in fear. We still need to take the church and sin seriously, though. Well, I'm sure that those first Christians got that message. If you think about it, Ananias and Sapphira's lying so they could appear good, it was opposite of what the other believers were doing. Well, what do you mean? Well, remember how I mentioned that the Holy Spirit was changing these people? They were taking, taking care of each other, sharing everything. It was a great group of Christians to be a part of. Well, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Well, people who were not honest would have brought corruption into that community of believers. The Holy Spirit wanted the church to continue to grow and wanted the good news about Jesus to continue to be shared. Oh, I think I can see your mm -hmm. point. You know, lies, and we know where lies come from, yes. from the devil, would have caused problems in that group of believers. The devil wanted to stop the spread of the gospel. He was already causing Christians to be mistreated, persecuted, and worse. But the result of that was the news of Jesus spreading even more. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So this was almost like an attack from the inside, trying yeah. to break up the community of new Christians who were taking care of each other. Yes, if you look at the story in Acts chapter five, when Peter spoke to Ananias, he said, why have you let Satan fill your heart? Man, the devil will try just about yeah. anything to stop what God is doing. That's true, but God is greater and stronger and he cares for his church. In fact, we have a new memory verse that describes the church. Okay, well, what is it? Our memory verse is in Romans chapter 12, verse five. It talks about the church being like a body with all of its parts working together. It says, in Christ, we, though many, form one body and each member belongs to all the others. Man, that's pretty neat. Do we have any motions for this verse? Of course we do. Let's say the verse again and I'll show you the motions. In Christ, we, though many, form one body and each member belongs to all the others. Romans 12, 5. Man, I like that verse. It shows that God doesn't want us to be alone and try to do things on our own. Right, he wants us to love and help each other and be his church. Awesome. Hey, thanks again for watching today. And don't forget, you can check out our activities on our website at citypointchurch.com slash citykids. Also send us a message. You can email us at castile at citypointchurch.com. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.